This video covers Power SDR 2.7.2 KE9 KE9 NS Revision T8 and some of the new features. Uh, one of them is the uh, Griffin PowerMate knob uh, driver built in. All you do is plug the knob in, let Windows find the driver, don't need to install any other software and don't run any other software. Uh, if you plan to activate this, you go into setup and go to general user interface and this is also where the DJ console is right here. Uh, PowerMate is right here. If you check this box then it will activate um, the built-in driver in PowerSDR. If not you can use, if you don't activate that then you can use other other drivers uh, external to PowerSDR. The speed control is just how much resolution in the knob. Uh, so the lower the number, if I zero that number then basically just barely any movement will make it step through and the step is just based on the tuning step so when I push the button it will cycle through a few of the different tuning steps 250 Hertz 100 Hertz 1 kilohertz 500 500 Hertz which is what I normally leave it on so then as I move it across then it'll change change frequencies uh, if I change that step make it bigger then it doesn't move quite as fast, but it moves at that same 500 hertz step. So that's what that what that feature does. The other feature is the band stack. Uh, a long time ago, I added these indicators here. So this tells you basically you're on the current, uh, you're in index number four out of four. So there's four memories in the band stack for, uh, for 20. And if I wanna add more, there's a little hint window here that uh, I hit the control button and right click on the current band I'm in and that'll add a new band stack wherever I'm at. Well, now if you just simply left click on either one of these, it'll open up this little window and you can always keep it on top if you want. Uh, it shows you all the current memories in the band stack. It tells you if there's one of them in your actual memory list. Uh, it'll put the indicator over there to let you know this one's actually in your memory list. But if I click on on this, uh, this will actually go to the frequencies in the band stack. And you can actually, if you want to update them, let's say you want to get rid of this one, go to number two, change it um, to a new frequency like 216, and then just basically click to another band stack, and now it changes the one I was just on to 216. So now that's saved in that band stack. So you can basically rearrange these as you will and also add more by doing the control right click onto the band button. You can you can add additional band stacks uh, up to nine. So uh, all your shortwave bands, it'll show you all the different ones you got, all the different band stack memories you've got in all the different shortwave bands, all the different HF bands. So that's it for T8.